In this eighth masterclass focused on Zizek's philosophy, we are going to be understanding the 21st century meaning of Hegelian philosophy. But first, I want to let you know about a course on the Freudian unconscious, which I'll be leading and starts June 3rd. We are going to be trying to integrate an understanding of the unconscious for the present day, and we can either focus on a professional or a personal development that helps us to understand what it means to be a divided subject. I hope you join me. Links are in the description. So, 21st century Hegel means to be able to think the relationship between epistemology and ontology. Another way of saying this is that Hegelian philosophy asks us to focus on the relationship between knowledge and being. In other words, we're not just focusing on being in itself independent of our knowledge, and we're not just thinking about our knowledge independent of being, but rather the interaction between the two. You might even say, to use a common uh, term that's used in modern science, that knowledge and being are entangled. And Hegel is interested in the way in which this entanglement is unfolding as a historical process. This would be the location of Hegel's absolute in a becoming. Because Hegel's focusing on the relationship between knowledge and being, the interaction between epistemology and ontology, what Hegel is interested in is the division, not the unity. If knowledge practices are interacting with being and vice versa, that means there must be a division between the two. And this division opens up the space for the narrativization process. In this sense, that is where Hegel locates the absolute itself, in the division and the becoming of the narrative. Thus, Hegelian metaphysics offers us a way to approach a very important division internal to our contemporary knowledge structures. As Zizek has remarked many times, Perhaps the fundamental antagonism in our current knowledge practices is the relationship between scientific materialism on the one hand and discursive historicism on the other hand. What scientific materialism focuses on is, you could say, a naive notion of objectivity, an objectivity independent of human subjects, an objectivity which is non-emotional, non-passion, no, with no passion, with no... Uh, pre-logical drives with no uh, concern for the nature of the in itself of subjectivity. On the other hand, discursive historicism attempts to deconstruct and relativize and in some sense render every form of knowledge practice contingent to our historical location. What Hegel offers is a way for us to synthesize these two opposites. Hegel offers us a way to think both the in itself of being and the freedom of our narratives and the openness of our uh, discursivity. This would be the location of the absolute becoming. In this sense, Hegel is asking us to think about the way in which particular frames of reference emerge and structure a certain stage of our free becoming. In terms of high-level philosophy, Zizek offers us a way to use Hegel in a way that engages with some of the most um, common presuppositions in contemporary philosophy. For example, contemporary philosophy often focuses on the contingency of being, the altiarity of being, and the heterogeneity of being. What does this mean? It means that philosophy today focuses on the fact that external being outside is fundamentally uh, contingent. It could have been otherwise. That means altiarity. Altiarity also means that contemporary philosophy tends to focus on the otherness of being, the being independent of the self. Also, contemporary philosophy focuses on heterogeneity, which means it focuses on uh, difference and multiplicity. In contrast to these dominant philosophical notions, a Hegelian philosophy asks us to think the opposite of these terms. Instead of contingency, necessity. In terms of altiarity, self-realization. And in, in, and in response to heterogeneity, unity. 
However, all of these three terms deployed in Hegelian metaphysics can often be constructed to make a straw man of Hegel. When Hegel thinks about necessity, he is thinking about a sublated contingency. He is thinking about contingent events which become necessary, and they become necessary, at least in human history, through self-realization. This means they become necessary through the transformative power of the subject itself. Finally, Heterogeneity is also subject to the same process, where differences are sublated into the unity of the self. This does not mean that the self's unity is a perfect sphere, but is still an open becoming. It is constantly being sublated. This means that Hegelian philosophy in the 21st century would ask us to think about paradoxes of accidents, the way in which accidents, contingent events, can become fundamental to the historical process, also asks us to think the importance of observers, the way in which observers are always already necessary for the revelation of an otherness or an alternative to the self. Finally, Hegel asks us to think about cuts, to think about the paradox between division and unity, the way in which a unity, a self, is fundamentally only possible because it is cutting into reality. It is um, itself, its own unity, a cut, a division in being. This offers us a first step towards thinking the Hegelian thing in itself. The Hegelian thing in itself is not a independent objective being out there, but rather a historical becoming. This means that Hegel would interpret science as a particular world stage. In other words, science is not an uh, end and an absolute form of knowledge, but rather a particular form of absolute revelation. The mystery of science is its historical consequences, the fact that it transforms the given conditions and the possibilities for being. This also means that the thing in itself asks us to think the in itself of discursive freedom, the fact that we can freely create and freely use narrative to change being, to bring forth new realities, new possibilities of being. And finally, the thing in itself is inherently part of self-positing. This means, again, that our own becoming, our own self-realization, our own free use of language is the location of the thing in itself. Now, in order to go deeper into what that really means and how you can locate your own speech with the absolute, we would need to go deeper because we would need to use psychoanalysis. However, that is for a future lecture. But I will remind you that if you want to join me for a masterclass focused on psychoanalysis and going deep into the unconscious and its meaning for today, I will be leading a masterclass focused on precisely that task. It starts June 3rd, and there's a link in the description for more information if you want to join me. And we'll be trying to integrate an understanding of the unconscious into our professional and our personal lives. So... Again, link is in the description. And that is this lecture, this masterclass on 21st century Hegel and his meaning and for the contemporary philosophical universe.